Welcome to the how to video series where we only share the procedure to achieve a particular configuration or task. So in this video we will be looking at how to configure pre and post command in networker. So first let's go ahead and check on the minimum requirements that uh, we require for achieving this. Uh, the first requirement is that the script should start with the name save or NSR. The preceding string on the name of the script can be anything and um, uh, the, uh, the other requirement for this is that the script should be placed in the same place as the networker binaries which for Linux is slash USR SBIN and for Windows it is the uh, default location or the location of where the networker is installed slash NSR and slash bin. Uh, the other requirements is that for Windows the script that would be recognized is only .pat on the batch file and on Unix uh, you can use any kind of script but ensure that the script has executable permission for all users. Uh, the other constraint is on the number of characters used for the name itself and the and the restriction is to have only 64 characters. Now that's it. Let's go ahead and see and at the script. We are on our client here which is a CentOS uh, version 7 and we are in the location USR SBIN where most of the NSR binaries are located. We have two scripts in this location uh, that we are going to use for this demo. One for the pre command and one as the post command which is save post underscore demo.sh and save pre underscore demo.sh. So let's go ahead and look at what the script contains and if you look at the post command it's just a string being printed and uh, redirected to a log file and also getting printed on the console and the same with the pre-script as well it is getting uh, redirected to a log file as well as uh, also getting printed on the console so you can have any kind of script in this location which you want to run before the backup and once the backup is completed so let's go ahead and see how to complete the configuration on the networker administrator so the configuration is pretty straightforward uh, for this demonstration i will be using a clan instance which is already created uh, you can create a new clan instance or use an existing instance which is up to your preference or current uh, state of your configuration uh, but keep in mind that the pre and the post configuration cannot be done with the client configuration wizard and can be done only when the client instance is created so let's go ahead and check on the properties of the uh, respective uh, client instance and for this let's go to modify client properties. So you need not be on the diagnostic uh, view mode, you can be on the normal view mode for this operation. In the client properties you can switch to the apps and modules tab, go to the pre command which is under the backup category here and copy over your pre command which is this one so you just have to copy the script name you do not have or sh you should not copy the entire path so next let's copy the post command as well and if you can al already see here both these uh, scripts are executable for all users let's copy that over as well so save pre demo.sh and save post demo.sh uh, no other changes are required so as mentioned these scripts should be in the same location as the networker binaries are which is part of the global path variable and that is why this uh, this is going to be picked up automatically by just the name of the command and you need not give or should not be giving the complete path to that particular script let's go ahead and click on ok and uh, click on monitoring go to that particular group I'm going to start only that respective client so that I don't have to wait for all the backups to complete and then click on start. So the current date is a uh, date and time is November 10th, 9.50 p.m. So let's go ahead and check the log. And if you can see here, this is the pre-command which has run for this particular uh, backup and we will have to wait for a few minutes for the backup to complete all right the backup is now completed if we take a look at the log file that uh, the pre and the post is generating you can see that the backup has taken around 15 minutes 
which is approximately the same amount of time that it has taken for the backup to complete. To configure the same on Windows is very similar. All you have to do is create a batch file instead and mention the name of the batch file in the pre and the post uh, command. For more details regarding the same topic, you can refer the video in the description or in the iCard on the top right corner of the screen. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.